Are you ready for a journey? Well, if so, let's head to Corpsewood Manor. Corpsewood Manor is nestled in the beautiful Chattahoochee National Forest and was built by hand by a man named Dr. Charles Scudder, who was a former professor at Loyola University in Chicago, along with his partner, Joey Odom, in 1977. Today remains only a narrow gravel drive, unmarked after all of these years, to a site of forgotten history in the woods. What I'm about to tell you describes a very true and very strange tale of tragedy and murder that centers around Charles and his partner, Joey. After leaving most of their worldly possessions behind, Charles, Joey, and their two dogs left Chicago in 1976 to escape life, taxes, bills, and what they called the disintegration of the world around them. And within two years, they had built Corpsewood Manor deep within the woods of Somerville, Georgia, and Corpsewood Manor was named after the hauntingly bare autumn trees that dotted the area. And for full transparency, Charles is not how you would typically view a professor. For starters, he was a member of the Church of Satan. Two, he would conduct government-funded LSD experiments. Three, he would dye his hair purple, which is no big deal. But he did this while carting around his two skulls. In their home, it was guarded by their two furry companions, a pair of mastiffs called Beelzebub and Arsenath. And their home was filled with various gothic items like the skulls, this pink gargoyle, and a stained glass window adorned with the prophet Baphomet, who was an important figure in the Church of Satan. And to complete their manor, they built a three-story chicken house. The first floor was for poultry and food storage. The second floor was for canned goods and naughty paraphernalia. The third floor was their pink room. You see, Charles and Joey enjoyed the pleasures of the body and they often introduced partners into the mix. And to help with that, they built and decorated their pink room and they filled it with more naughty paraphernalia, mattresses, and no pink room would be complete without a guest book. You see, visitors to the manor were free to do whatever they pleased, consensually of course, but they often did this under the stupor of drugs and sex. And one of these days, Charles and Joey were having a party with 30-year-old Tony West and 17-year-old Avery Brock. You see, Brock had been there before, but on this occasion, he decided to bring his friend West with him. But it bit them all in the butt when it ended up that West was really opposed to homosexual activity, and he blamed Charles and Joey for taking advantage of his younger roommate. At some point, Brock and Wells decided to rob the couple, so on December 12th of 1982, they went back to Corpsewood, this time with their friends Joey Wells and Teresa Hudgens, and they enjoyed some homemade wine, they were huffing some paint. When Brock left the party, he went up to his car and got a rifle. Brock proceeded to shoot Joey, then the two Mastiffs, then he demanded that Charles give him the money. When Charles said he didn't have any, Charles was shot five times in the head. The pair took whatever valuables they could find, then fled to Mississippi, where they ended up killing another man in a robbery on December 15th, but by December 20th, Brock had turned himself in. Tony West was sentenced to death, and Avery Brock received three life sentences.